Um, first of all, uh, you know, there's a, there's a famous saying by Barry Green in Singapore. Um, cy uh, cyber criminals operate at the speed of light hmm. and uh, law enforcement operates at the speed of law. So it means there's a, a, a natural mismatch. But, but the, 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 like I said, the, the quick issue is that um, we have to be not just proactive, but actually we have to rethink. Uh, we have to be transformational in our thinking. Um, I think it is said that, uh, you know, the light bulb is not the product of incremental improvement of the candle. So at some point you have to make a leap. But when we talk about the philosophy, and I, I'm, I'm happy uh, Mr. Otega brought that up. Uh, for example, across Africa we have Ubuntu. I am because we are. And these are the kind of things we need to embed you know, in ourselves and you know, in, in, in our children and uh, the, the people around us. But as, as though one of the speakers mentioned, you know, you look at USA, for example. I, I think USA, Canada, Great Britain, uh, Europe, their quagmire is arguably worse than ours. Mm -hmm. I would agree that maybe places like uh, South Korea, South Korea, South Korea, and China, because they are inherently more disciplined, are, are doing better. So again, it's not necessarily the platform. It's actually a reflection of the people, the society. Uh, also, I think um, it, it's, it's very crucial that we point out that, because Dr. Ban also brought the issue of academia, and I agree with him 110%. We don't study things. You know, your, 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 your colleague re, you know, m mentioned some very interesting statistics, but have we actually studied how um, these messages diffuse? You know, is there, are there academics in Nigeria that have produced the kind of papers that would be of use, for example, to the legislature, to you know, the executive, in order to make decisions that are empirically based, not simply based on I think or I believe. You know? And then finally, I'd like to touch on the issue of censorship, uh, because you brought it up, I think, and, you, know, you alluded to it. Traditionally, censorship was by government, some government entity could control what was said. And as Mr. Ortega said, now there are multiple pathways. You don't have that kind of control. And what we have seen is that that censorship is moving from government, or has moved rather from government, to private platforms. Your Twitters, your Facebooks, your TikToks. They are now doing the censoring. However, where the problem down the road is, is we're already seeing censorship by algorithm ah. by AI, where none of us know how the decision to block or facilitate Run away technology. This is the challenge. Mm -hmm. It's not us alone. I, there's no country that's not um, grappling with these kind of issues. And I think the big picture really is that at the end of the day, as a society, one, we have to have our own internal con conversations to decide what we want, where we want to go, what kind of philosophy we want to adapt, what kind of studies we can do. But at the same time, we need to be able to combine it with the greater knowledge of the wider world because nobody can solve these challenges alone. Nobody.